sex workers at Reddit, what's the weirdest kink a customer has asked you to fulfill? In a special massage place, friend of a friend of a friend told me that one of her customer comes in regularly to get his ass cheek scratched for one hour. I used to sell a friend of mine sleeping pills, she had a client who liked them being injected to his D and tried to duck her before he went to sleep, would take about 10 to 15 minutes before he crashed out she was always paid up front and she would leave when he fell asleep. A customer had a fishing fetish, got fisher outfits for some girls like a raincoat or summit and brought a fishing rod, boots and all and the girls had to act like they were fishing him while he was laying on the floor and moved like a fish. Craziest hit I heard but whatever floats their boat I guess. I was camming and a guy wanted to start a paper minute camming show I agreed and just casually talked with him for a bit. Then to the weird part. He wanted me to lie in full view of the camera. Completely still. Like literally not move. I spent an about an hour just laying completely still and making no sound. I have no idea what he got out of it. Oh I also had a guy out of his mind on Molly have me over for like 5 hours but had me arrive at midnight then proceeded to dress me in every Halloween costume he had ever worn and photograph me in pirate stuff. LOTR costume and a wizard W a large staff taller than I am. Guy WHO makes the radio YouTube vids, why didn't I get on the vid? I have hella upvotes and 2 awards. Kinda sad about it though circumflex why with diaresis copyright airing. A client pays me to teach him how to blow his nose properly, making sure to say key phrases like blow it clear. Another one set up a fantasy scenario where I receive an expensive vibrator in the mail but when I open it, discover a tiny man that stuck in it. He said what you don't know is that man was a factory worker that got stuck in the vibrator making it. I was obviously confused where he wanted me to go with this but suggested I should try using the vibrator with the man attached. Nope. The client replied I can't come unless you destroy it. I was a cab driver for several years. Night shift. Ghetto. Loved that job. I had a regular escort who always requested me. Probably because I didn't ask her for anything whilst driving her to her next john. She'd go up into an apartment, house, or hotel room and have me wait. Sometimes a full hour. But rarely over 15 minutes. I never argued because waiting and a return trip keeps the meter running longer. One time she came down after maybe 10 minutes. She looked half amused and half terrified. She said that the guy had her put on a mu and an old lady wig. Then yell at him while while he took it and edit for clarification. During, he jacked off. Ducking weird. Freud would have something to say about that guy. No doubt. After reading through this thread, I'm nowhere near the perverted bastard I thought I was. I'm not a sex worker but the weirdest request I've had was on Reddit from a guy offering me $50 an hour to crush mealworms and insects with my feet. Oh. And the bugs will be supplied to me. Another time. A guy offered me $200 just to show up and meet him. Didn't have to talk or stay. Just collect money and leave. Which was obviously sketchy as duck and I didn't go. I used to drive around prostitutes and do security for them. Very regularly. One of the girls would get a call from this guy who would have her show up and steal toe boots and kick him repeatedly in the D and face as hard as she could. He paid her $200 to beat him until he passed out. Usually 6 to 8 minutes. That became a once or twice a week thing for well over a year while I was driving her. I've on a 6 worked once when I didn't have enough money for a night out. Guy paid me a cute 250 for me to sit on his back naked for 3 hours. He didn't do anything just lay there. No conversation whilst I watched TV. I felt like I'd ripped him off but he was very appreciative. There's plenty of fetishes I don't indulge but understand how people get off. But I struggle to understand what he was getting out of it. To each. Their own. I'm a dancer in a club and I love kinky guys. Other than the doms. I won't get into that whole thing. Kinky guys trend to be pretty passive and tip well. Mostly I meet foot guys. Cuckolds. Men who wear women's undergarments. And just overall subs who are open to whatever I'm into. After 15 years in the industry. I thought I'd heard it all. Then I met a guy who said he was into bones. As in. He bought a 45 minute room and just wanted to like. Feel my skeleton. He was touching my collarbone and hips pretty hard. 
It wasn't the most comfortable dance ever but he was so grateful to be acting out his fantasy and super respectful of me and my time. One of my favorite guys ever. Update. You all have really great questions and responses. I would love to answer meaningfully as I enjoy my work and love to talk about it. Just gonna take some time. Had a roommate in college, 2000s, who did private adult videos by request only. Basically expensive personalized video porn. She came home pretty bummed one day and I asked what was up. She said she had been paid $500 to put on an adult diaper and comically large baby bonnet and walk otherwise naked around a local college green space. The whole video was her walking around with her fingers in her mouth acting like a confused adult baby. At the end she was told to pee in the diaper and show the camera. When she thought she was done the director asked if her she wanted to poo in the diaper for $1500 instead of $500. Saying the client asked if it was possible. She declined immediately and the director was I guess okay with it. She was bummed she missed out on making an extra $1000 because she had pooped before going to work. We both laughed so ducking hard. What a ridiculous thought. Done. If only I hadn't pooped before work I'd be making some real money. Not a six worker personally, but I used to manage and bartend at gentlemen's clubs many moons ago. One night while I was tending the bar, one of the girls comes down to my bar and asks me for an empty beer mug. I give it to her. She runs off to the bathroom, then comes back out with it, full of urine. She then runs off to her customer, mug full of yellow liquid in hand. A bit later, she comes back with the mug, now empty, tries to give it back to me, and I tell her to throw it away. She does so, then proceeds to tell me that a customer paid her $300 for her to pee in that mug, and then he wanted her to watch him drink it, which she did. Beyond that, I saw guys come in, pay girls to clean mirrors and tables in the club, and they simply watched. Though a few would even get up and help them with the cleaning they were paying them for. One guy would walk in, talk smack to every girl he could, and when one would finally get angry enough to slap him, he would pay them $100 on the spot. For your information, this dude was about 80 years old. Some guys would even come in at the start of a shift, bring panties with them, and ask a few girls to wear the panties all day. They would then later show up at the end of the shift and pay the girls $100 and retrieve the used and worn panties. A lot of weird and oddball fetishes out there, but to each their own. One of my favorite customers at my restaurant is a SW and she always tells me stories in exchange for a free boba. She's also the best tipper. The best story she's told me is a guy paying her $200 to just stand on his belly. Nothing else just stand there fully clothed. Dude didn't even jerk off or anything. And he made an appointment every time she was in town lol. Not me but I heard this story from a friend of a friend who worked in a BDSM club. She had this client that would come in with a few bin bags full of nettles. It's a stinging plant for anyone not familiar. Wikipedia says they're not native to a lot of places. Anyway then they put a tarpaulin down on the ground so they could roll him up in it with the nettles like a joint. Then she just kicked duck out of him and apparently that's what got him off. I've been asked to make some strange fetish videos. Forcing a slave to eat frozen semen that had shaved pubic hair sprinkled in it. White chocolate Linda balls, 8 of them, in an ass. Followed by a cock. A funnel, placed in the anus. Followed by minty mouthwash poured in. Man lays naked while woman licks him from head to toe with lots of slobber. Tapping fingernails on hard surfaces. Chewing food while having the neck grasped but not choked. Stepping on toy cars while wearing high heels. Just to name a few. Note, I did all of them except the slobbery tongue bath. Some of the mouthwash one is here. Not one myself. But I knew a reporter who had done a story on the infamous red light area of Mumbai. One of the stories that stuck with all of us is of this one guy who turn up at one specific date every month with a duffel bag. Now you'd think he'd bring kinky devices with him to use on Thessex worker. But instead, he'd bring a full set of traditional Indian wedding attire. Thessex worker told the reporter that this specific customer would pay her whatever she asked, as long as she'd wear the wedding clothes. He would respectfully wait outside the room till she changed and then he would make her sit on the bed. He would pull up a chair, sit in front of her, and just look at her and weep. For two hours straight. Then he'd leave. 
without laying as much as a finger on her. Turns out, he had lost his wife to some freak accident hours after they got married and it messed with him big time. One of the saddest stories I've heard, and it makes my heart ache immensely whenever I recount it. I was a dom. There was this guy who was absolutely infamous. Literally everyone knew him and had done a session with him. If a dungeon got a new girl on staff, they'd call this guy to see if he'd scare her off. He was obsessed with teeth, but he was a very old guy, so his fetish got mixed in with typical old guy things, which meant that he rambled at length about dental insurance. He was so infamous that one day I actually stumbled upon a little article written about him. Here, there were also rumors that he paid desperate addicts to actually pull their teeth. But who knows. On the flip side, I also stumbled upon an article about a different infamous guy who used to come around to the dungeons and give us all pedicures. And he was genuinely a lovely man. We called him, Futsal Giorgio. I ordered many a drink perched atop his carpet back in the day. But actually, neither of these are weirdest. Not my client. But did see the guy, wearing reindeer antlers. Like you might buy in the seasonal aisle of a drugstore around Christmas. Heard he liked to be called Rudolph. Seemed really off. Maybe mentally challenged. Wish I was making this up because it makes me sad to think about what would have given him such a fetish. I'm dude who did weird stuff during college to earn some extra cash. My job was to go to these afternoon parties organized by these filthy rich housewife and do catering service in our undies. Undies were provided by the secret friendship company. If they would like us. They would put in a currency note of 50 stroke 100 in our undies and take a drank peek of the good stuff. Once a woman asked me to assist her for personal work to earn more cash. I told her that I will not have a 6 for money. She told me that I will not be required to have a 6. I got on board. She took me to a room. Paid me 5k. Just to watch her slowly undress and cry. I initially got scared as I thought she is framing me for rape. But she calmed me down and only asked me to watch. She slowly undressed herself while crying really loudly and then she lied on the floor naked bawling like a baby. There were actual tears and stuff. It was really sad for me. But 5k meant a lot during college days. Finally. She silently stood up. Covered herself. Went for a shower while asking me to leave immediately. She took my number and we made it a monthly routine. I was terrified every time she called me for the work. But I still did 7-8 sessions for the cash before I accepted that it's too weird for me. I couldn't sleep nicely for 2-3 nights after each experience. Not too fancy like other stuff here but weird aff still. TLDR. Rich lady paid me to watch her undress while crying. Canned for a bit. Kinks I disliked the most and unfortunately one of the most common to encounter were the doms who strolled into the chat already talking down to me, ordering me around and calling me pet names right off the bat, and then trying to keep that roleplay going during pay and kink negotiation, as if treating me like a sub would get them a better price and more access to my body, a swards. Even the abuse fantasy folks were more courteous about getting consent. Weirdest kink though contacted by a couple different guys who wanted me to close up record myself farting into a jar and capturing it and then mailed in the fart jar i didn't realize fart jars were in such demand another guy wanted me to record myself in my car fully clothed mind you as if it was a normal day with my seat belt on he was very adamant about car safety the request was to pretend like my car was a stick shift that had just broken down and i didn't understand how they worked he wanted me to jiggle the shifter, bounce in place, fiddle with controls and shake the steering wheel and grumble at the car as if frustrated for a few minutes, and then reach over and start searching through my car's manual and reading aloud the terms as if very confused, and aloud wishing that I had a boyfriend who could help me. I got paid $200 for about 10 minutes of pretending to be confused while sitting in my car. Didn't even have to show a tit. He was very sweet and patient about the whole thing. 10 stroke 10 would film again. Pro tip to your kinky people. Respecting boundaries and clear communication will get many camgirls to do some truly wild it. Watch this question be in an ask reddit text to speech video. I was paid $200 to kick near customer in the balls till he came. Only took about 4 times to make him come. Did it a few times. He even paid me $500 when I went out clubbing to do it in a corner of the club. 
I'm Nosik's worker. But I did know a guy who would roll a layer of tissue paper under his foreskin when he had six. Was an awkward night when his girlfriend revealed she had to remove dried bits of tissue paper from her anus. I think I might qualify as a one-time six worker. One night, after riding the subway home from work, a guy followed me off the train and offered to buy the shoes off my feet. He stammered through some nonsense about being a sneaker collector and paid me $450 in cash for my old, sweaty canvas vans. Totally worth the two block walk home in my socks. I love the lack of kink shaming here. Also, not a six worker, but ex-military. Some guys are too shy about sharing even the most personal it. One of my buddies had a kink with those horse girls that actually pretend to be horses. I mean they gallop around on all four and jump over the obstacles. The whole nine yards. He grew up on a ranch too. Said what's wrong with combining the best of both worlds? That sentence raises more questions than he'll ever need answered. Make a video where I'm sunbathing. And then I accidentally say the magic words. And then suddenly I get yucky slime dumped all over me. Did you ever wanna get slimed on Nickelodeon as a kid? Yeah, me too. Guess what? It's ducking gross. Feels like getting bathed on and it stinks like sour milk. That smell didn't leave my hair for a week. And if you're interested in what that looks like. Someone posted a gif from the video on here a few years ago. Edit. Found the gif oi. Nothing particularly exciting to be honest. Kind of disappointing. Slightly more interesting requests included. 1. Pretending to be married and having to be quiet so we didn't wake the kids. 2. Armpit licking. Surprisingly common. 3. Pretending to be a cat and meowing. Crawling around and drinking out of a bowl on the floor. 4. Wearing pantyhose and being stretched and put into various yoga type poses while he sniffed me. Met more interesting folk in my day job I think. I feel obliged to mention the human toilet though. I never met him, but some of the other girls said there was a guy who would pay girls to poo in his mouth. Apparently they would line up outside his room to do it, not judging. But I don't think that I could ever do that. Let's just cuddle all night. Standard not a 6 worker but I smoke cigars for fun and had a guy request to pay for a custom video of me trying to light a cigar with a broken lighter and get very annoyed that it won't light. Specific. This isn't as weird as the top post, but it's a good one. I've had men with a financial domination fetish. Basically they want you to steal their wallets or demand money. Easy peasy. They get off by having you control their money. First, we both get naked. Except, we're both wearing sailor hats. Then we get into a jacuzzi filled with Pepto-Bismol. I clip your toenails. And you shave my buttocks. Then you scream at the top of your lungs. OP should have used a serious tag. So I'm not a sex worker and this isn't a kink but, comma, when my ex was in prison long before I met him, he carved up tiny smooth balls from the plastic of a toothbrush and then inserted them into the sides of his D. So visually, it looked like a stick with random bumps all over it. Thought he had an STD at first. Definitely his kink, not mine. Not a sex worker exactly but I do write custom erotica commissions. Have had people request severe torture porn and child stuff. Obviously I won't write either. But one of the weirder ones was Muslim humiliation. A guy wanted me to write about an imam being beaten and humiliated in front of his wife. Very graphic in his choices of methods. Made me wonder how someone develops a fetish like that. Not super crazy but I had a guy approach me through reddit and ask just to be able to give me money with no strings attached. There was a couple month period during which he would gradually send me money in multiple $15 payments spread throughout the day. Sometimes we'd text too. Sometimes we wouldn't message for a week but he'd still send me money and quietly wait until I felt like talking. He liked when I ignored him. And if we talked it turned him on when I was mean. He ended up giving me about $1,500 without him ever asking for so much as a photo. Are the daily sex workers of reddit question? Not a sex worker, but recently on reddit, I was asked to relate my kink to another horny reddit teen. Again. Not a sex worker but my friend who has had a client that needed expensive gourmet pies thrown into his face while he was strapped to a chair. 
I am Nosix worker. However this seems fitting. Somebody I know went out with somebody that would get extremely turned on by her singing happy birthday Mr. President to the point he'd come with no stimulation at all. Not me. But my friend was doing cam work. And she told me that she was asked to show her ass which she did. And then the guy whipped out a cucumber and slathered it in butter and shoved it up his ass. She tells me this is something she can never unsee. I had to slip a 45 record over the top of this guy's D. Then sit back with a cigarette and spin the record with my foot take a puff and say. Hi my name is Genie and I'm 15 years old. Then blow out the smoke. I said this over and over until he came. Then he tried to give me the record for a souvenir. This one is really gross. So read at your own risk. I never met this guy in person. We corresponded through email only. He sent me a pet egg. One of those foot exfoliators that looks like a cheese grater. And asked me to take a 5 minute video of myself using it on my feet. He had me use it multiple times over a couple weeks. Specifically after wearing smelly shoes. At the end of the allotted time. I would send him the shavings in the mail. Mixed with toenail clippings. So he could eat them while watching the video. Gag. But $300.